So last night everybody got drunk. <laughs> um, funny story. Um, <clears throat> I always love when a story starts off like that. <clears throat> last night everybody got drunk. I I didn't get drunk. Some of us crossed over. Some of us crossed. It was it was a and little crossed bit, over. It, it was a drunk zombie apocalypse mm-hmm. up in here, sure. up in her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they were crossing over. Man, I, crossed I, over. I guess. Just me and Joel? I guess. Yeah. Welcome to a live episode of that little gay talk show. Oh, that's right. I guess I should. I should. Are we live? <laughs> we, we are live. live. Hello. Hello. I can say you can say yes. anything. And you can say anything. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You can say anything when we're recording. Yeah, exactly. I can't. can't I? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you guys, if you if you've listened to the show, you recognize that voice as Spunkmeyer. Mr. Elliot Spunkmeyer Brown, yes. Mr. Elliot Spunkmeyer AKA Brown. The sausage biscuit. The sausage biscuit. Nice juicy, the baby. sausage biscuit. Nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you undoubtedly recognize that laugh if you've listened to the show. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that is the one and only Mr. Viegas. Hello, everybody. ¿Cómo están? Besitos. Mm-hmm. And of course, me, Pinky, and of my course. partner in crime. The velvety chocolate voice on my right. Hey, what's up? How you doing? The How crossover you do- master. You <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crossover himself leading the pack. Mm-hmm. Uh, the drunk leading the drunk. There we go. His, his, <laughs> his crossover numbers are record setting. <laughs> he has a perfect batting average. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, um, now it sounds like that I might need some counseling. Thank you with that. Thank you for that. Welcome to our live intervention. Uh, <laughs> I promise I'd do a soft one first. As, before after I, that I, fourth uh, liter of uh, brandy. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm, whiskey, right. actually. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You mean the gem bean? Yes. Mm-hmm. The whiskey. Yeah, okay. okay. Wait, did you guys drink all that? Yeah, that's a silly question. We drank the whole bottle. But, but we did half and half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's still a lot. Oh, it was a lot. Mm-hmm. But to, to me, it was my a norm. Little. It was his norm for him. For me, what, I just what? went over. Yeah, I, I I drink a lot. You drink? I I can drink a lot and not be completely out. I mean, back when I I don't cross over. Was allowed to drink. I used to I used to drink definitely at least that. What do you mean, last week? Because no. Now, when when we went um, to play pool mm-hmm. after the art show a couple weeks ago, I Ooh. I had so much like everybody was handing me out drinks from the get go. Mm-hmm. As soon as I got in, my brother got me like three. I think Pinky, you got me like two drinks. Um, they were pumping my her full of booze. My friend got me like two more. My my niece got me like three. Mm-hmm. So by the time I got out of there, and then I went to the bar, and I had some uh, Coke and and Crown. Mm -hmm. They had Coke there? Mm -hmm. Coke and Crown. (laughs) My name. Damn it. I was out. I'm wondering why the hell you guys were in the bathroom for so long. I probably had probably two or three times. Is that when you started slapping people? Yes, that's when I started slapping people and and touching people. Poor Mumbles. Yeah, poor Mm -hmm. Mumbles. Poor uh, Elliot. Mm-hmm. His That's ass okay. was broken. Your poor mm-hmm. biscuits. So I do have to say, you have a nice butt. I do have um, a nice butt. But, but I'm not in love with Uh-oh, you. I just want to make sure of that. We, went- <laughs> I, I, I wanna, we, if you listen to the show, you know we record on Wednesdays and they, the episode airs on Thursday. We're coming to you live on Thursday because we did record <laughs> yesterday. We did um, record I yesterday. Like, we, re- we recorded something <laughs> yesterday. I won't call it an episode. Uh, well, or maybe an episode is exactly the way that so we should why refer did, to. Why did after the episode I asked y'all how you thought what you thought about it, mm-hmm. and you guys were like, "Yeah, it was a great episode." It started as a great episode, but but clearly you don't remember a lot of what happened yesterday. <laughs> 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 <There's a note. laughs> my my butthole now has followers. Yes. On social media. Yes. Yeah. According to Joel, is who has never seen it. Porcelain. It's pinky porcelain. Uh, <laughs> is it smooth? Is, well, is, I, just, is, I just went on the guest porcelain pinky his, perfect. Based on his his skin, on his face. And his chiseled features. And his chiseled features. Just, that would be root. The people that, that would be pink. 
That it, it would be and pink. You know. Maybe with like five little blonde hairs around. But it would be pink. No, I don't even think they're, right. they're, stri- they're strawberry blonde. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I don't dye those ones. I'm, I am rocking sapphire hair though this week. Mm-hmm. And flats, y'all. I, my cars, are, my vehicles have been taken <laughs> by, by nature and <laughs> have not. been swept into I'm the ether. With that area, because mm-hmm. my vehicles are just. Too. Right, mm. it's in my neighborhood. <laughs> it's, my neighborhood. It's, it's actually, it's just you know, goddamn brain yeah, alley. Goes on the vortex of evil. Yes, okay. or it's maybe just... a vortex of evil moved into my house. Mm-hmm. Maybe. True. Are, you know, are we it, talking about your that... ants? <laughs> no, oh, we're Lord. talking about we would never oh, crossover moments. Crossover moments. You... <laughs> moments. We would uh, never, mm-hmm. never. Let's blame it on the crossovers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Why would we do that? Blame it on the a- 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 because that's a- what alcohol, happened. baby. We were all uh, well oh, yesterday. Man. Not I, I did have some alcohol on me, but, but I didn't cross over. So we did some fun things, and we're gonna we're 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 still cleaning up from you know we've got the Charmin out, and we are cleaning up the shit show that was <laughs> last yeah, I night's we were episode. Supposed to have a seance for Halloween, didn't we? Well. Right, we were. Yeah, we can. I, still I think you do wanted it. to have a seance. We can still yeah, do it. We can still do it. You're not bringing those spirits up in my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, where are we gonna do it then? <clears throat> it ain't gonna be in my house. <laughs> I have to sleep here. <laughs> just, just do what I do in my house. Unless you this are paying rent, rent, you are not. <laughs> unless you are paying rent, you are not inhabiting my house. So stay, <laughs> stay home, spirits. So get out. They don't take up any space. Mm-hmm. Well, let me tell you, whenever I right. feel, they, they, I feel they, they just, first of all, of each other. I just tell them to go away. And they first go of away. all, they howl all night, then they make noises. I thought that was bottoms. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wish. Not I I'm not sure that's, that's something you're altogether unused to in this <laughs> house, mm-hmm. Joel. From what I hear, the stories I hear, howling is not a, a I foreign... Think really <laughs> foreign. I think having a nice, benevolent spirit can only help, help this place. Mm-hmm. Would give a whole new I meaning think... to the that whole stranger thing. Mm-hmm. True. Maybe it was. You wouldn't have to. You wouldn't have to sit on your hands <laughs> to get that tingly mm-hmm. feeling. I mean, what you want when you get up and have your eat your fiber cereal? Wouldn't you want to have like a mm-hmm. a British ghost? To Why is he British? I think he's nice. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> if it's British like and he's a ghost. Odds are, and he's still in America. He's probably not nice, especially considering well, no Joel is black. Case, mm-hmm. um, stipulation. In the well, I mean, I think it's in the afterworld. I'm sure people there's no like such thing as racism in the it's afterworld. The whole so I'm not wor- it's really like, worried. It's all like in one mm-hmm. yeah. speck of mm-hmm. yeah, of that like one place. cat's collar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I remember one conversation we were having yesterday was about get, getting um, gang rape. <laughs> Oh yeah, we did yeah, spend a little so bit of time, time uh, requesting. We spent too much time on that. Let's not yeah, ever talk about pleading. that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's the thing you don't want to talk about ever again. Oh no, no. Mm-hmm. I don't ever want to talk about that again. <laughs> um, okay, next topic. <laughs> that led to some next. Topic. Yeah, that went down a road that. Um, Why to put this show on hiatus? For? <laughs> You're gonna, you guys oh, will wait. probably get to meet the turd bandit. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, that's right, the turd bandit. Mm-hmm. The turd oh, bandit yes. will be making an appearance on probably the Halloween episode. Yes. So you guys mm-hmm. will get to know, figure out Let's who that see. is. What's the she will. The t- who turd. is the turd bandit? Well, one of the Only... actual questions that, that we were oh, right, talking right. about <laughs> is who would go to a party, go number two, and leave the, their thing floating. <laughs> and so, if I am not mistaken, I chose... Uh, sing and uh, the rest of them you chose sing you. too. <laughs> no, I chose. Um, yeah. Yo, he chose. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, right. Joel. Mm-hmm. I, I chose. You chose. I chose him, Elliot, mm-hmm. and I chose. Uh, I think. Yeah, but I don't understand how y'all made. He chose, chose Joel too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but hey, I don't understand how me. y'all made such a big deal about <laughs> that question. I mean, you guys were like freaking out about. Not trying to look bad, and so I mean, you left the deuce in somebody's toilet. What? What's the big deal? But I, I gave I gave Chris an out on no, no, mine because but, but, I said, um, but our concern just, was not. Bad luck. The toilet stopped working. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The concern was not the the the, the dumb conversations that sometimes we had. <laughs> it's, it's the stuff that could get us sued. For- <laughs> 
So leaving a number two in somebody's toilet? No, that that was not a problem. Mm-hmm. Well, like, wait, do was... we have a list of topics that are not we're not able to bring up? No, I mean we can. Mm-hmm. I just but don't want to talk. Really, there's topics that we should bring up. I no, I did not say that. I just said that the gang rape topic probably shouldn't be something that should be on the table. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the list. We okay. want to promote it mm-hmm. unless it is in reference to one of our anuses. Mm-hmm. Yes. One or more of our mm-hmm. anuses. And besides, I like to think of it more as a get-together, a sexy get-together, or a sexy gathering. Something Not a gang mean. rape. It just sounds, oh, rape. Eh, no. <laughs> well, well, it wouldn't be rape fantasy if it wasn't it's, rape. It's, it's, it's rapid. It's on the line. It's, it's horrific. It might be over the line mm-hmm. a little. Mm-hmm. Even, I, even I said, if you're going to mm-hmm. rape me, at least choke me. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'm talking about me. I don't. Yeah, exactly. I hope you all are taking not, notes we, out there. You mm-hmm. not mean to trivialize rape, of course. Of course. Just, of course not. We would never um, be mm-hmm. okay with something no. like that. So mm-hmm. so heinous, no. Right? Mm-mm. No, no heinous in your anus. No, no we're hein- no. Yeah, we're just being yeah, silly, being which silly. is so. Don't get confused on that, y'all. Mm-hmm. And please yeah, don't take that. A- I mean, there's rape. There is rape fantasy. It would be silly and ignorant of us not to acknowledge that fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if we are, if we are desiring not that anyone other than ourselves be gang raped, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, we don't want somebody else to get no, gang raped. No, 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 exactly. Raped. We want to be the recipient, the lucky recipient. Okay, of- you two want to do that. I don't want to do that. Uh, I I have so, had my. I'm just going for a laugh. I okay. have had so, my. For, for those uh, that have been to jail in the past, <laughs> uh, has there been any type of uh, a good story? Why are you looking at me? I didn't, no, I didn't look at anyone. I was looking at the cards from yesterday's game. Wait, but you were looking at my name on the cards. No, I was not. <laughs> okay, yes, what about you? Oh, that was an uncomfortable. No, I didn't know card. you were in jail. I mean, I don't even know who has oh, in here been in jail or not. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm just saying. I just said I've something. I've been to jail twice. Really? Yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. Ooh. You like me out? <laughs> no, oh my god. Let me not ask anymore because we're gonna go there. Mm. Four or five? What? Dang. You've been in jail five times? That's hot. Wait, huh. you need like a tattoo? Or... I saw someone in the subway. He had another one of those. It was like a sword tattoo. Oh, like the guy. From but if it's the... not a teardrop. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, but yeah, that yeah, the the guy from the bartender the from the uh, bar. Mm-hmm. It's not he wasn't the bartender. It was oh. a different guy. No, he was a bartender. He, he no no no. A he wasn't a pro- yeah. Because I saw this the guy one that we saw with his similar. girlfriend. Yeah. The night we went out for my birthday is a bartender. That is a bartender the- at the gay bar. No, it was a different guy. Hold on, time out. The <laughs> bartender. Is straight, and I say that quote, with with quotes. With quotes, he has a picture of him. Um, not the same guy. But no, we saw no, it's not the night. same guy. He clarified that for me because I, I took a picture of him, very stalkerish of me, of course. And then when I opened my uh, grinder account after so long, I um I saw somebody that looked similar to him. No, and I, I got thought that, it was him. The guy that you took a picture of is the same guy who was playing pool at the bar. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's the same guy. Right. Right, but not the same guy as but the not, gay guy. Not the Grindr. prostitute. No, the prostitute correct. is somebody right. different that looks a lot like him. Got it. Okay, in case you don't know what they're talking about, <laughs> there was a hot guy with neck tattoos at the bar, and he had like a on his outside. He had like a little eye. anchor. Yeah, and it in it reality, it was mm-hmm. he was hot per Elliot and myself because we know uh, Pinky doesn't like him skinny. But he wasn't like a ten, I and mean, he was like a. Oh, nobody an, said he was a ten. Or or Calm down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was totally eight, eight to life, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully eight <laughs> in every way. Eight? You got an eight off of that? An eight by Ugh. eight? All I got, all I felt was greasy and dirty. I'm like, this guy. Oh, so you actually got this some. Guy. Is there? Some of us. No, you sent the picture. Dirty. You sent the oh, grinder picture. No, that's not, that's no, not the same. Yeah. You're talking about the, oh, no. Bro, I'm I'm not, no, no, no. I'm not talking about the bartender. I'm talking about the grinder picture. No, we're, no, we're, we're talking picture. about the, the grinder. Grinder. No, the grinder and picture was the bartender. You sent it in a, in a text. In a, the in grinder picture was the bartender. It was? No, no, it's not. You said it was not. No, his grinder picture was him behind the bar, isn't it? No. no, 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 time out. I sent several pictures. The first two pictures were of him at the bar. 
at the bar or at serving the bar. at the bar? No, at the bar. He was work he was behind the bar working. Not the same guy. The second one was him sitting with his girlfriend. Not the same guy. It was the same guy that was there the day that we went. His tattoos here birthday. didn't even match. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, maybe. the well, guy, the, the I don't have them anymore. I delete my shit. His, and his yeah. girlfriend was. I love right how there. everybody's talking like we're not on the air. How are people going to see a picture of a bartender? Show the picture. Okay, so, so like, the bartender was, to was cute to some of us. Okay, the, the ones well, that are into. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. So, okay. so you were in jail for five years. Jung Tang. Oh, public oh, intox. Um, I'm more, more recently DWI. So, what about you? Sir? I had a DUI. And what else? That's it. Okay. And DUI you is different like than DWI, correct? I know you said five times not sexy, but I was thinking maybe you killed somebody, you beat up somebody to death, or you know something that I can really you be beat afraid up of you. To death? Yeah, like what? something I will be afraid that's of wrong. to that's be around you. No, I'm just kidding. Just the English <laughs> so far. <laughs> <laughs> but um, mm-hmm. I'm Sicilian. We don't go to, to jail for those types of things. Sicilian? Yeah. Okay. That means he likes pizza. No. No. You don't like pizza? No, I love pizza. Oh. But not because I'm Sicilian. Okay. Why wouldn't it be because you're Sicilian? Because if you don't like pizza, there's something wrong with you, whether you're Sicilian or not. Do you like those traditional pizzas, though? I do. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. But why would be Sicilian and liking pizza be offensive? No, it's not. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't like, I, I feel like I would like pizza regardless, because I'm also half Irish. Mm-hmm. Which okay, okay, and yeah, we the, got the conversation that. is getting more interesting. I know, right? <laughs> well, I mean, and there we there we have like my <laughs> ability to be <laughs> fucking a hothead and a professional drinker, mm-hmm. right there. Yay. Are you so, a hothead? Really? <laughs> um, I love how when we took the quiz really? yesterday, and everyone was asked like, I asked the question of, or who was it that asked the question of who would be the most likely to escalate? <laughs> a situation. Everyone picked me. I don't know. You definitely picked me. To escalate a situation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was that a question? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think I asked that one. I must have crossed over that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you crossed over from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> you maybe you maybe one of these days. <laughs> so, just... <clears throat> so let's take an, a, if, so. for a transcript of whatever that conversation was, talk to Miss Pinky. I, I think I think we're going to work. <laughs> We're gonna work in several of these messy moments mm-hmm. into into, this into the Patreon mm-hmm. benefits. Oh, a bonus! Yes. Yeah, a bonus. bonus. One. Yeah. All the reels that we, all the reels. That's a great idea. <laughs> that, yeah. mm-hmm. that are too messy mm-hmm. to release yeah. like, on live TV. So, um, <laughs> here's, a, here's the question. Um, yes, sir. How come the jail conversation stopped when it came to me? You just Wait, literally you stopped. You didn't. No. No, 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 he asked, no, no, nobody assumed. stopped the conversation. He said, just drifted into I just something else. <laughs> Have you been in jail? Have you been in jail? For PI once. Oh. Twice. I think it was twice. Well, then what the, the second time? Con the second time, I was on PI? Public mm-hmm. intoxication. Oh. And the funny thing is, is that I was, the second one, I was walking home from the bar to my house when oh, I got I picked up. I think yeah. Story, yeah. When I got picked up for PI. Yeah. To yeah, my right. house. <laughs> To which I told the officer where, three times, I live right here. Like, I'm going in the yard. Home. I was like half a block down the street. Yeah. Well, I mean, that is generally where most PIers get caught mm-hmm. is on their way home. Mm, no. It, it depends. Is. They Most of the time, they'll give you time served. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And it's like, it's a classy misdemeanor, so mm-hmm. it doesn't go on your record. No. Not that I know anything about things that do and don't go on your record. Apparently. Apparently. I, I actually I did go to jail for um a classy misdemeanor an un uh, unclassified assault one time. I threw a couch at somebody. Oh, oh wow. I thought you had actually sticked your heel in somebody's <laughs> No, I actually I wasn't wearing heels um at that point in time yet. That was, oh, okay. That was pre Frankenfurter. Prima Donna? Okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I was upset about though, because when I was in jail I was only there like for one night each time. So, and if you're there for longer, they so actually take you down to oh, the okay. real. So you actually really wanted to go in I wanted and to go into the real. It fucking place. sucks, dude. Oh, do yeah, do they allow you to take lubricant with you? Just asking. 
No. Saliva. <laughs> they don't like. Saliva. Saliva. They don't suck all the saliva out of your mouth. <laughs> don't be crazy, girl. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. I mean, were you expecting something? To... No, I mean, I've never been to jail, so I don't know. Mm. They. There is nothing that will turn you. They have it in the commissary. There is nothing I, about jail that. that... I like my jail. That turned me on in any way, shape, or form. I will say though that you don't you don't really realize this until actually you were there though that actually being locked in an enclosed room is very mentally draining. Draining. Yeah, it's like it's, like it's like when, you when like, during you a hurricane you're in your house there. and you can't move out of your house mm-hmm. because everything is flooded. Yeah, where do you think yeah. I got these muscles Kevin from? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so um, just working out in the yard, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you mean? What yard? Well, he was carrying all these uh, the bears, yard. the prison bears. Oh, the prison bears yeah. in the yard. Mm-hmm. Since he's mm-hmm. kind of topish, he was. Just but like, I mean, my topish. social, my <laughs> social <laughs> politics, topish. and like, I like that. And my taste in men, kind of. But wait, you had all of your topish. You, you told them that you were gay or whatever, and they put you away. And I I have whatever. done that once, and I <laughs> I and I had mentioned a detail to you. That wasn't actually the case, but we'll get you separated um, if you choose to right. disclose that card. If you choose to play that card, they will s- segregate you. Oh, um, right. With all the gays. Whatever. So it can be a party. Whatever. You don't right. Know, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you if you tell them that you're not sure of your status, they will, until such a point, it, oh, that's what it, was. it becomes, if, if they're processing you, if you actually get <laughs> processed in, and until they can get a medical check on you, they will keep you but separated you from the everyone else. I mean, you get the full experience. Um, sometimes you don't. Sometimes, I mean, like in county, there was nobody in that room that I really, one, I didn't have any conversation with or had anything in common with. Well, I it mean, was a very. Well, you have one thing. You're both in jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. That's mm-hmm. right. So, so yeah, that's a conversation. That's, that's, that's kind of major. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of them didn't get pulled over for DWI. <laughs> so, uh, pretty unique jokes. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. What do you get when you mix a wolf oh, scarf wait. and a vampire? So you were in like, like with mixed, like um, with, we were, I, with, I only like, made it to the processing end portion. And yeah, yeah, violent criminals, violent criminals, people who were who had <clears throat> like I was sitting in to see the judge and get my get released on my on my bond, and this guy. Is up there seeing the judge and like he shot this woman five times. Oh, he was keeping shit. her locked in his house, and when she tried to get out, he shot her five times. And you have these people being mixed with people who are getting DWIs and possession charges and totally nonviolent offenses. Oh wow! Oh, so, see, I was when I got my DUI. It was in between San Francisco and Sacramento. It was like the small town. Uh, right, so you probably didn't leave in the annex. I, I, I went to the small no, city like jail, a, right. but I was processed then into county, right. mm-hmm. the county jail. Because I've been to the, the one down, I went to the one downtown. Don't ruin the movie. And Silence your phone. Who is it? It was, it was just everybody who was trying to get out of their tickets. I mean, I was literally put in the cell with everybody trying right. to get out of and the tickets. And that's mostly what it is for, especially mm-hmm. cities. But because I had a, mm-hmm. another charge that was deemed county a county offense, I had to be processed into the county jail. Mm-hmm. So I spent a day... I, I don't know exactly how many, but I know I was gone for three days. So, But with no windows, no clocks, no nada, I will say the food at the city jail was far better Really? Then the Jimmy Sacks mm-hmm. they were serving in county. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, I got a Bob Evans like mm-hmm. mixed griddle for breakfast. If, like, if I ever go to jail, I don't know what would I would do. Like seriously, I don't. I don't. Know. It depends on what you're going to. You jail wouldn't for. get very much sympathy from us, Carlos. It well, no, depends on what you're going sympathy. to jail for. I mean, if you're going for because you did something violent, see you later. But if you're going well, just because you went in for PI, yeah. Girl, I mean, please. I, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know what I would feel like or or even. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just weird. Mm-hmm. But my thing is, they treat you like a fucking animal, regardless of what you did. There's mm-hmm. no kind of assumption that you were innocent. 
There is no kind of treatment like you're still a a law abiding no, yeah, or agree. or you know and they also, right when they possessing you, they don't really they don't give a you. shit about what they time just, of day it is they don't care what time of day it is what time of year it is they they released me in the middle of the night in the in mm. like January and it was right so outside. it was probably sixty five degrees outside y'all no this isn't <laughs> I know I'm teasing you <laughs> so they just don't care about that stuff. No, mm-hmm. and, it, and it's shitty. And you're in a strange town. But you imagine, have to take imagine, all your money. Imagine if they had and then they put it on this fucking for car. Every single person that's in there. What? Well, that was my thing exactly. So why would why would that after so after I got released on bond after they said okay you can go, I spent another sixteen hours, still continuing to be processed with the rest of the population of people who was not getting out. Mm. They didn't. Set me aside and say, okay, we no longer need to do this. We just need to get this paperwork right. back and push you out. Or they'll do something like, oh, well, you're, you're going to be able to go pretty soon. And then, like, it's a day later. Exactly. Right. But, but imagine if, if they were to give preferences uh, in jail based on everything. Right. Or so, so at least based on the if, crime if, you committed. I mean, I Violent, nonviolent. Pretty simple. The, a a pretty good simple distinction right to make yeah. between to me, mixing well, a bunch of criminals together yeah. in the same room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I get that the, the separation of, you know, if you're a killer versus you just got you drunk just, and you were driving. Yeah, or uh, just smoke some weed or something. Or just mm-hmm. smoke some weed. I, right. I can see that. But outside of that, the rest of the treatment, um, I can kind of see how it can be harsh. But at the same time, it's like, who do you choose to treat right? You treat everyone better. For me, you treat everyone like a person. And, and, and I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Not treat right, but you don't treat him with all those extra. Like, if you know you're 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 with somebody that you don't know their status by the time you figure it out and whatnot, and you start giving better treatment to or, or it's not better treatment. It's just, it's, just treatment. it's just it's it's taking everyone else's health into consideration. It's giving preferential treatment to the mass, not that one specific individual. Here's and I'm not I like, just find it give me extra to, to blankets say... or anything like that. I'm just saying, treat me like a person. Like, when I ask you what time it is, or, like, don't treat, don't talk to me like I'm a fucking criminal. Oh, yeah, that, 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 like, that I agree. That respect I agree. me like I, a I don't person. understand what type of preferences you, we were talking about. <laughs> right, no, I mean, general. they treat you like fucking so, dirt yeah. in there. And not only that, like, once it, it kind of is, is set up to where um, they, they kind of want to, you get stuck in the system where, it's easy for you to commit another crime and be back in jail. When they release you and you're stuck there somewhere and no one's helping you, if I didn't have a support group that I had, I could have easily been... I would have had to steal or do something... Like I did. ...to get myself out of the situation I was in. You know? Like, there's... I'm basically dependent on the kindness of strangers to get myself where I need to be. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, like, if you tell it how many times have as any of us had that person come up to us and tell us that story, like, oh, I just got released, they, they took all my money, they put it on this car, I don't have access to it, like, I'm just trying to get bus fare, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, that's like, real. how many of us have... That is mm-hmm. real. That's, that's real. real. And, like, and I, and I have heard that story, and, like, so I didn't ask anybody. Mm-hmm. I just no. like beelined home because I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have to have that fucking conversation with somebody I was and nobody's sta- going to fucking believe st- me. I was standing outside the 7-Eleven looking at cars driving up, wondering who I could bum a ride from, terrified right. to even right. talk to people. Yeah. If you say, if you tell someone you just got released from jail, they're not going to talk to you. You're that guy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So. That is very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and thankfully just enough. Just because you've been in the system doesn't mean you're a bad guy. <laughs> but I, mm-hmm. right, thankfully I enough. I was driving my car. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Super intoxicated, and I could have killed someone. For sure. Thankfully enough, I did have a cell phone that didn't lose its charge over. The- <laughs> oh my god! You know what's so crazy? <laughs> Those old Nokia uh, cell phones, right? That will last for days <laughs> before yeah, you get a charge. Yeah. Before you get a charge, I'm like, messaging. oh, thank God, because I could call my friend and have him pick up. He wasn't happy when he picked me up. But I had to call somebody. I'm way out here on Macau Road in the middle of nowhere. The second, you were way out there. Oh, way out there. I didn't know what the hell. Where to catch a bus or well, there are anything, no and I'm area. like, <laughs> For how the hell do I even get out of here? Luckily, I, got, I was able to call. I think I called it. No, I called a taxi. Yeah, when I got I called a taxi, they're like, um, well, you know, lucky your phone was charged. Mm-hmm. Would be, you know, it, when the DA sets your bond, you mm-hmm. know, I was like, is there any way that I can pay it because I've got the money on me? Like, well, 
you have, your bond hasn't been set yet, so in four to six hours, when the DA sets your bond, you'll be able to release your personal property to somebody, and they can pay your bond for you. Well, I had decided, okay, I'm going to release my personal property to somebody, have them pay my bond in four to six hours, get out of this, and then handle the court after the fact. Two days later, you know, the people I had called to come and get my personal property came, picked up my personal property, but I was still being detained for another two days. So, like, I didn't have any of the money I had on me that I got arrested with. I didn't have my cell phones. Nothing, because they told me in four to six hours from being arrested that I would be able to bond out. Right. And it wasn't until three days later that I was actually bonded out. Mm-hmm. And so I had to track down my personal belongings. I had no cell phone, no nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, like, had to walk all the way home, pick up my other car because they impounded my, my truck, drive to spring, hoping that my personal belongings, you know, hoping that these people were at home so I could pick up my personal belongings. Because I knew they had them. I just didn't know where they were because they kind of work on the road sometimes. So it's like, for all I know, they could have been in Round Top at a show. Um, so fortunately, they were home, though. But it took me... So they didn't pay your bond, or they did pay your bond? They didn't. They couldn't, because they, they didn't, couldn't even they didn't post a bond. Okay. I ended up getting out of my own recognizance on a personal bond, is what they call it. A PR bond. What's a personal bond? It's, I basically make a promise to show up and complete the programs Interesting. that the court... Because, I, I mean, I have no priors. I, I'm not... I was, it was a nonviolent offense, right. you know... First time offender. First time offender. I don't have any history of any of that or anything else, you know, legally. Mm-hmm. But uh, so they let, basically <laughs> let you out on your own recognizance. Ooh, he's eating a potato chip. What you got there? Mm-hmm. I like how four gay men are sitting around talking about jail. <laughs> <laughs> And, and mm-hmm. I feel like what's more is, entertaining. I feel is like that this few, is a different show. How few jokes have come about mm-hmm. about sex on the inside? Gross. Well, All I can say was gross. You when you see a three hundred, all you can say is it was gross. When you see a three hundred and seventy-five pound man sitting on. sitting on the toilet taking a shit while you're in the middle of. Oh, I forgot. Nine other that. people. Yeah, well, the hold toilet on. is just so, out so, in the open. Nothing yeah. is a turn there on. There are some people that would find that sexy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't have a shit thing, but 375 pounds sounds like it's up my alley. Can you imagine mm-hmm. having to take a shit in front of 50 people? I know, right? I, would, I didn't even go to the bathroom the I entire was, time. I was, I was the only there. person in my cell. Mm-hmm. And there's like a camera, and mm-hmm. I didn't use the fucking bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> there was nobody else in the entire what annex. you were there and you had like diarrhea or something. How embarrassing. I'd probably have to drop a fucking O ring <laughs> before <laughs> before I fucking sat down there and was like <laughs> <laughs> in front of everyone. Like I can't even imagine. I would have wanted to rip my fucking face so off. You went, you went three days without mm-hmm. yes. going to the bathroom. Without going to the number two. Mm-hmm. Did you take a big dump when you got out? <laughs> <laughs> The, the sixty four oh, no, million no, dollar what question. Elliot is into. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Some. I went to the. Scat? I what? ran Scat? straight to the city jail bathroom. Yeah, exactly. Then, as soon as I got out, I went right back in the building, went to the first bathroom I saw, did everything I needed to do, and then walked my. And ass then they off. closed the lobby. Yeah, they pretty much <laughs> had. To. <laughs> I think. I, and the funny thing is, is there, there are other people. <laughs> there are other people waiting for their rides outside, and I'm with these women, and their hair is all over the place, and they don't have no makeup. Because <laughs> you look at rat and hair. Just look, all you can do is go and like I this. See it. <laughs> and they were all, we were all talking, and everybody, like I said, everybody went to get to take get their tickets taken care of. So they went to jail for the weekend to get their tickets oh, taken okay, care to get of. Get out of okay. it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm like, girl, you didn't bring anything with you for afterwards. She said, honey, I was just trying to pay off my ticket. I don't have any money to pay off my tickets. I came to jail. Would you expect me to look like a beauty queen when I got out of here? I mean, I mean I'm mean, i like, my girl. <laughs> it looks like you spent money on it to go in. Mm-hmm. Like, but... Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> to get that mug shot, she said. So so if you were to go pay your, your ticket with jail time, 
That means you're going to get all spiffy, wear your best suit. I don't know. Just ask, asking. I don't know, just For me, if I'm if I'm pleading guilty, I'm not fucking showing up in anything fucking fancy. Mm. They're just gonna take half I'm, of it away anyway. The reason I ask because you're, you're making fun of, or you. I know, you're I know, but I'm like, just you, do, uh, you, try you know. To at least look cute. Mm-hmm. Well, you try to look cute. <laughs> you know, at at the time I was maybe, like maybe trying to look on the bright side. So your soulmate may be in jail. I don't know. You never know. <laughs> your soulmate might be in jail. <laughs> That's a line. That's a fortune cookie. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You never know. Take a walk on the wild side. <coughs> yes. Maybe oh, your so- maybe your soulmates in jail. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, I hope not. Ugh. Oh, Have you guys thought about like doing any volunteering with a jail or anything after you've been after you've been in jail? Um, I don't want to go anywhere near. <clears throat> I have about working working for pretrial now. services mm-hmm. here in Houston, um, as well as like uh, <clears throat> there's the YM uh, AC CA YMCA no YMAC <laughs> oh YMAC okay. Young YMAC. Men About Change oh okay which is a rehabilitation group uh, here in Houston oh interesting huh. oh. um. The folks that I actually went today to see for my assessment mm-hmm. work hand in hand with them, and they run a couple of the rehabilitation programs mm-hmm. that those guys, you know, alcoholics, reformed criminals, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's nice to see a change in the probation system. Mm-hmm. Um, and while I'm not on probation because I have not actually been convicted of a <coughs> one crime. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't been convicted guilty of a DWI. I haven't been convicted of any other crimes associated with anything that I got arrested with. And basically what this is, is a pre-trial, what they call pre-trial intervention. Um, but there's this whole program dedicated to, okay, is this person a criminal or did this person have circumstances that got Beyond the better the of them? Mm-hmm. You know, And they happened to be in a happenstance situation. So that they're not just turning this person into a repeat offender by sending them to jail for this crime, locking them up for X amount of mm-hmm. time, right. and then getting back out and having nothing nothing to their name except the title of mm-hmm. drug dealer or drug addict or alcoholic mm-hmm. or right. assault, you know, mm-hmm. and battery-ist. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they work with them. They, they check out their mental state, their what their social network is is kind of like, what their support system is like, what their upbringing. And so these were all, I spent my afternoon doing an interview um, with one of their caseworkers there, um, which was nice because I finally had somebody treating me like a person Mm -hmm. Um, and not just like a criminal, which I'd been getting from just about everyone else other than my legal counsel. Um... But yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've definitely thought about that. I've had a very extensive history of like drug abuse and 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 uh, substance abuse in general in my family. Um, my father, my several of my brothers, um, you know, which I hate for them, and I I want better for them. But I I think I might be too close to that situation to really, you know, because I just sound like I'm preaching then. Like siblings do when your yeah, older sibling sense. comes to you and, and get, tries to give you advice on shit. <laughs> but, um, but no, I've definitely thought about doing that. Uh, you know, being an under... I, I won't say underprivileged youth, but like an at-risk youth um, that I was growing up. I mean, my mom was 19 years old, uh, self-medicating, you know, a drinker, a drug addict, and, you know, had us four kids there living with her in a house and you know they didn't these programs didn't exist then so mm-hmm. so t- talking about volunteer work have any of you done any volunteer any type of volunteer work um just i've kind of looked into um there's some group that feeds like homeless kids downtown that i kind of looked into they are having some fundraiser at the leather bar. Okay. Um, and is it Nest about, or uh, mm-hmm. is it Nest? I think it was. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I thought about being a counselor for them. But the only thing about volunteer work is 
you have to make like this sounds silly. You have to make a commitment, and yeah, it's, like yeah. you have, for like a certain amount of like, a certain period of time. And we know Elliot's got commitment issues. I don't have commitment issues, but <laughs> you know, I want to be. I since I'm a contract director, mm-hmm. live anywhere, so I've always I always thought about. Going, moving around. You, you want the sure. flexibility of yeah. not having to and show up. And committing to doing that takes away your flexibility. Mm-hmm. So I've never been, I've never been, I just haven't gotten to that point where okay. I Okay. Because mm-hmm. usually what I've done, I mean, when it comes to volunteer work, and, and I don't necessarily how volunteering this is, but <laughs> I usually do like the March of Dimes stuff. And I, I remember we went, there is this, um, like, um, kind of like Goodwill. But mm-hmm. you go in and, and help them clean up. So everything they get goes to uh, charity, of course. You mm-hmm. know, feed the people and whatnot. So it's a thrift store, actually, mm-hmm. that you go and volunteer to go, and let's say, work as an actual, like in retail. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've done that before. I've done the, uh, um, where the food bank here in Houston, I've, I've been there twice. Um through work, um, some every year we do where we do packages like care packages, and we send them off. Um, recently, oh, cool. we did one where you would go in and put together um, like um, first aid packages mm-hmm. um, in in many different things. I've done through either through work or you know other other means, but those are kind of like my volunteer type of stuff that I've done over time. Mm-hmm. I've also done some about, um, some help at the the veterans homeless center in downtown. Okay. Um, like on the Sunday, they they have like a like a, where they just, a buffet of like food and uh-huh. stuff, and veterans can come and get a haircut. And I've just helped out with that sometimes. What about uh? Um, well, I made mention so, of the sisters um, before, and they're a charity organization. Um, <clears throat> They've since started up. I have not been. Yeah, they're a, a hu- the Houston chapter. The space, I think it's the Space City Sisters now, um, has started back up. That I've started getting involved with. I've had a lot going on in my personal life. Um, so oh, I have. They, so they started up again. Um, yeah. So there was a sec started um, about a year ago or so, um, and they've since that since has sort of went the way of the dodo. Um, so to speak, and they've since started back up in cooperation with the uh, Houston rugby team. Um, they do a lot with um, Ripcord is their home bar. Friday they do a uh, Friday they do a bar night every month, um, and they have several organizations that they help charity wise. Um, that's the only thing I've done at, as far as a gr- being a grown up. Um, but I was a Boy Scout. Back in the day, so I, I used to do a ton of community service. I've been wanting to do more stuff, though. Just... Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. I haven't, I haven't, other than just, you know, do some care packages and stuff, uh, I would say in the last couple of months, I don't think I've done anything else. So, it might be fun, too. It feels good. I think we should, we should, we should do it. We should totally do it. Team building, yeah. Team building, yeah. Stop the bitchiness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I, I... I'm probably going to get heat for this, and I'm, I'm okay with it if I get a little She heat. doesn't like charity Just work. Just spit it out. Mm-mm, I'm not for the volunteering thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I'm just... <laughs> That's it's just not in my DNA. I don't no, mind don't giving like my. You don't like to vote. I don't mind giving money if you need money for your organization. I am more than happy and willing to give you money. But if you want me to do any physical work, no, I'm not doing that. I need money for my organization. Mm-hmm. Have you seen how unorganized I am? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> True. I need lots of money for my that organization. Needs a lot of cleaning. <laughs> so I, pl- I applaud you girls for wanting to do that, but for me, that's not. It's, it's just not, not in my team builder for the for the. Nah, it's not in my group. DNA. I don't mind. I can supervise. I'm an excellent supervisor. If, if we, uh, but if I'm, I don't know. know. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Because if we were actually an indicator. Wait, wasn't yeah. I voted as the best supervisor? Yeah, I think I was. By yourself. <laughs> By yourself. By yourself? And, yeah. Uh, no, nobody person. else. No Singh. <laughs> no Singh did. Singh did. Singh did. Singh did. Singh, Singh, Singh did what? No, Carlos voted for himself as well. No, mm-hmm. I got three. Oh, no, 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 no. Time out. The, the, the pieces, or the, the conversation or the question was, who do you think could lead better? And so you and I voted. You, you and I, yeah. You and I voted for. You voted for yourself. I voted for myself. 
And we explained why. But you voted for me too, didn't you? No, I didn't. No, I, voted. Voting. I wasn't voting. He wasn't I was, voting. I, I was the I MC. He was doing the questions until <laughs> we repeated. Yeah. Yeah. I voted for myself a lot, didn't I? Yes, yep. sure yes, well, you actually, you know what? I usually am very self-sacrificing, so I'm happy that I voted for myself. Oh, very being a leader mm-hmm. is not self-sacrificing. I, I feel like you're patting yourself on the back yeah, again. I am. <laughs> I am. Don't hurt your arm. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. people that are so full of themselves, mm-hmm. which is so awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're, posi- you're positively yeah, oozing, he, Elliot. He's, he's, mm-hmm. he's the best... Uh, Best leader. He's the best uh, Cooper Lieber. Um, he's the most selfless person. And wait, according I to him, he's, he's the most said. liked person. Wow. He's put all members of the... Somebody sounds Ooh, somebody bitter. Sounds bitter? Sure bitter like party of one, girl. Calm it down. There's nothing wrong like, with mm, the being confident. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. So, no, I just... I, I don't know. I just never. It, it it's weird. I don't really like people that much, so don't well, really. It's kind of contradicting for you to say that. that you I, don't I, like don't, I, I know. Much. Isn't that because weird? You're, you're, you seem like a very, and you so far come as a very people person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But so for you to say that you don't like people, that he doesn't much, like their messaging. Kind of mm-hmm. What does that have to do with volunteering? I don't know, and that's that's I, the weird thing. I just. Ugh. Just the idea. I, no, I don't want to do it. And I'm not going to dig myself into a bigger hole, so I'm just going to say, no, it's not for me, and leave it at that. <laughs> I, wasn't trying to make I will give you money to your organization, but no, we're not going to. Well, that's rare behavior from well, Joel. There's, Normally, there's Joel's trying to dig himself deeper into your hole. Yes, something. exactly. And yours is monetary. Mm-hmm. So thank you for sharing mm-hmm. your and, and I'll, I'll, <laughs> I will uh, post my PayPal link mm-hmm. for you to... <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll give you my, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So we're at like 46 minutes, mm-hmm. and I know this because I'm jonesing for a cigarette. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I had one. I you know, just I, had one. I know. Did you? I yes. Had, I had a portion of one. into the kitchen and... Because oh, I'm I didn't jonesing. The <laughs> that, that happens at the 30-minute mark. I'm jonesing for a cigarette. I've been jonesing. Well, we're on live now, so guess Are you what? Cross over? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we can't stop, can we? Yeah, oh, we're on live yes. now. Mm-hmm. So awesome. Actually, we can we can stop when you're in, when you're in live. Yeah, we can go to commercial. What? Okay. Yeah, we can go to commercial. Let's if you play want. a commercial and like let's burn one. Let's oh, burn. let's get a solid yeah, direction. I don't have to say. Do it if you want. <laughs> oh, we weren't asking. <laughs> <laughs> Who is we? I love that because there was only one person. I know. <laughs> That's so cute, Elliot. <laughs> I hope so. You really want to stop broadcasting? Yeah. No. No. I just want to. So why don't you go help him? Let me go. You can't. <laughs> There's only a stop button. But he doesn't mm-hmm. like helping, so <laughs> how's that gonna work? So, we're just going to have to smoke through. <laughs> Wait, also, it's, it's still going? Yeah, no, it's still going. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So just smoke it. We're just going to smoke Burn through. It. We're smoking through. We're smoking, like golfing. Mm-hmm. Like, we're going to play through. So we're still on the air. Yeah. We're still on the oh, air. Okay. And all we can hear is you munch crunching. Your munchies yes. crunches. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I, I, I do I, think you can't stop broadcasting. So I'm going to take the risk. Okay, well. Okay. In, in case this ends <laughs> the episode, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say, Peace. If you're not going to be good, be good at it. Because <laughs> after last saying. night, <laughs> if 45 minutes is all you get out of us live, that's all you get out of us live. Okay. We love you, and we'll be back next week. Okay. But, uh, but we might be back. We might be back. We might, we be, might back. be back. 